Hello, and welcome to Enshrouded. Well, um, our friend the blacksmith here, Oswald, he's got this, he's got this idea that we should be going out there and clearing out an elixir well. But the only trouble is, I'm looking at the request, and it's like that. Well, yeah. That could be interesting. Now I'm I am feeling a bit squishy, I must admit. I mean, you know, getting his armor. I mean I've, I've got to question the quality. I mean I might let it slide given the fact that he's he hasn't been out of the vault for that long, but I don't know, the rest of the bits and pieces seem good, but the armor like the chest piece looks I don't know, I mean, I'm not overly impressed, I must admit. But in any case, what I'm thinking is, if I, can, I think before we go out there, I'm going to try and get a bit more XP, because I'm I'm close to levelling up, and that might help. So that's my strategy now, is bash and run, is it? Ooh. Okay. It didn't go so well. That strategy came close, but not as well as I was hoping. Right. Um, I'll go out of here because there's there's usually one lingering around in the in the shroud over here, if memory serves. Because I don't think I need that much. Um. Yeah, we don't need that much and we'll get to level the next level. So that might get me a maybe one or two more uh, points, maybe skill points, and then I put those into something. because uh, I'm I'm going I'm trying to go down this like path of uh, like melee. Mixture of melee and archery I would guess. Because I've already done it with magic. Ooh. Oh, this is not good. Who, who, who told you to join? There we go. So we've got two points, so that's not bad. I mean, I was going to put those into... Uh, into the survivor. Well, huh? Have we been down here? Have we not been down here? We must have been down here. Yeah, we've been down here. Ooh. Um, why am I doing that again? What's in here? Right, yeah, I mean... I'm trying to think there was... I was going to put something... I think it's a survivor. Because what I really could do with is double jump. That's, that is extremely useful, but if I've got to go up against this, whatever it is, it's like, yeah. Um, I think it would make more sense to put it into something that's going to give me a better chance, quite frankly. Not that I know if I've actually got much of a chance, because it's... I mean, like even a wizard, a mage is kind of squishy, but you usually go in ranged. Whereas here we're going in, like, head to head. Right, let's just sort of those out. We've got a resting buff being in here. Uh, we'll dump our bits and pieces in here. And in here. Right, our pockets are full, so I can see me having to build another one. Of budgesicles, right. Um... What can you do for... Oh, is that, or is that us? Oh, no, that's the workbench. Ah, yes, so... 
So one of these is going to take six nails. I don't think I've got the metal for it. Ah, we would need 12. Actually, he makes two of them, I think, so it's not too bad, but... Uh, what I'll need for just a little itty bitty one. So three string, three uh, six twigs. Twigs. Uh, where's all the string gone? What the heck happened to all the string? I thought we had a lot of string. Maybe not. Okay. Right, in that case, I'll have to make the string. And I'll make another box. Well, what do you know? Right, uh, if we put that one... Over there. Right, I shall draw... All these bits and pieces that I can. Right, so I've only got, oh, I've got eight scrap arrows, five flint arrows, eight wood arrows. So oh, could make some more. Anyway, right. because the twigs are in there. See if I'd had magic arrows, uh, magic, um, magic boxes, that would be a lot better. Right, that'll do. That can go in there, that can go in there. Don't need that sort of scrap, but. Right, wish me well. Or not. So we now, we're gonna have to find this elixir well, which is fair ways in that direction. So I know how to get out of the shroud because it's near to the um, it's near to the bridge. There's an exit point there. So it looks like it's down there that we need to be. Somewhere. like that sound. Right, so the location's down here. Come hither. Ooh, just as well we did level, because they level three as well. I'll have your bit thanks. Yeah. Oi. Less for the like. Ooh. Ow! That hurt. See, that's what you get for taking pot shots at me. And you too. There you go. You deserve that. Right. So the location is below. Below what though? In below where we're standing? Above where we're standing? Let's have a look. Aha, right. So at least if I stand here, I can replenish my maximum time in the shroud. Right, so before we go in, I shall have a nibble on this. Something else. Uh, I mean, that gives you stamina recharge. I don't see any point in trying to eat any wax. Not really sure that's of any benefit. Right, down, down, deeper and down. And down, down. And down again. Yeah, I could do with more time. That would require, I mean, uh, it's tempting if I'd uh, boosted the flame, I would have had an extra minute. 
which can make quite a big difference, shall we say. I'm spending more time coming down the stairs than anything else. The only trouble is there's like all this lava around. Last thing I want is to sort of like come down here and uh, end up like gliding into all the lava. Is he really empty? Aha. Aha. Oh, run away. like hit you with a bow afterwards. Oh run away So I get the distinct impression he's gonna hit me with like one shot and I'm gonna be toast. Ow Actually hurt. That actually hurt. Maybe if I hit him from behind. Same. So that wasn't too bad. I mean, it's like he seems to pause a bit. So I could have, like, hit him from behind. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop. I've got 1 minute and 34 seconds to chop this thing down. And there's no reward other than the fact that the shroud's now gone. And I've got a point. Right. What's up? Butchers. So what have we got? Oh, I've got five points I can now put into something. Ah, and you see, this is what I'm tempted for, because I really could do with that. That needs two, and that needs another four. And if you go down there, then I'll get 10% bonus for attacking with a melee weapon. Then I get another 5%. So then we can go down through thrust, which seems more like spears and that sort of stuff, maybe? Slashing. Well, that's a thought. What does it tell you? Um, I can tell you what the weapon does. Ah, so it doesn't specifically say any of them are doing thrust. Yeah, it doesn't say any of them specifically do thrust. But then you've got Brute, all melee blunt damage is increased. So it doesn't necessarily say it has to be a hammer, it's just all blunt damage. So that does a bit of blunt damage. So even that could benefit from that. Cutting damage, so... Uh, so that just does piercing and blunt. So that needs two, needs one. I tend to do that way. And then maybe catch up going. Oh, I can't say that. That does. P 
piercing. Yeah, that does piercing damage. That does piercing damage, so... I suppose you'd want to just max a lot of that in that case. Then veteran increases your critical chances, then boosts your constitution using your threat. Uh, constitution and strength. Swift blades, you can attack faster with one-handed swords and axes. There's tank. Oh, it's worthwhile. Purification. Oh, now that would be useful. Better plates. You can perform an evade attack which dashes and deals more damage. Again, this would be useful now when you think about I wasn't going to do tank, but I think that would be make, make sense because of the, the army you get. Hmm, interesting. So it might be worth considering. Oh, now that would be useful. You gain an extra constitution for every two levels of the flame. I don't, I won't, I'm only playing solo, so that wouldn't be of any benefit to me. So what's that one then? Shockwave. Breach. Oh, breaches. And you block with melee attacks. Ooh. Oh, I see. So if you, right? So if you break through them blocking, you end up with more damage. Oh. Yeah, can't say I'm overly interested in a jump attack. I must admit, bash would be. Yeah, bash needs to uh, par yeah, a bash to parry. Th the parry things take good timing. But all of these things, like strength bonuses, constitution bonuses. Are all things I want as somebody who's doing melee, but ranger that would be good. Mm, that could be good. Yeah, they would be good, those things. Mm, that could be tempting, I must admit. Flying enemies, bee stings. You can draw and use your bow while you're gliding. What? That that would be definitely useful going all the way that direction, but I think it'd be difficult because you you max out at level 25. Anyway, I need to make a decision. So um I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in that and I'm interested in I'm definitely interested in that, but Oh, let's get it out of the way. I need one more. Right, I need one more skill point. Okie dokie. Right, let's go back and tell him the good news. The good news is we took care of that. Memory serves you get one skill point for every route that you take out. Well, there we go. Collect sparks and offer them at the flame to strengthen the flame. So I think that, I mean, that one needs two shroud cores. I'm not in need of doing that, but this is going to be interesting. For whatever reason, I can't pin this one, but I need... Uh, anyway, let's have a chat with him. Tell me what you need. Okay. Uh... So they built towers to survey, so we've got to go and climb it and discover the world. Mm. Fair enough. Uh, so what have we got now then? So we can now do metal blocks. What do you do? Uh, charcoal can do no wood acid, so wood logs and dirt. We'll see out of curiosity what we get if we let's try that uh, where's the wood gone I had 
a lot of wood. At some point in time, I did have a lot of wood. Did I leave it in? Or did I put it in that one? Right, let's grab that. Split that. And we'll put that into... Um, that's not going to help. Alright, so that's going to make... Some acid wood, right? Some wood acid. Tar takes the same. Hmm, okay, so let's split that out then. I'll wait until that's done and then I'll I'll swap it over because whenever you discover something you basically learn something else. Grab some sleep. So that wasn't too bad actually, yeah, so obviously it, it like it's a big big brute by the looks of it if you take it out basically let it hit you and then just it gets stuck for a short while then you can just take it down from the back. I would have probably been better if I'd used the mace to be honest but never mind. Right so he hasn't got anything better as far as I'm aware but we want to as much as I don't want to waste effort on strengthening the flame the good thing is um, I mean there's all these places we could go to to get more and as far as I recall they do respawn anyway well, what's that flame altar base and improvements okay but yeah the um they do respawn so because the trouble is if once you destroy the altar it's gone for good you don't get you don't even get the original stone map very stingy this game at times Right, so I need... What do I need? I completely forgot what I need. It's one of these things that doesn't let you pin this particular one, which is a shame. Bones and animal fur. You got any bones? Yep, got some bones. Any animal furs? Yes, we've got animal furs. What else did you need? Oh, resin. Ooh. Now that's where we're dealing with stingy trees. Right. Uh, I want to see how much resin I've got. If any. So they are... It's one. I think that's a, that's a grilled one. I keep having to go back because I can't remember. Oh, there's, there's two there. Right, so I need three more. Right, let's go and chop some trees down. And I'll pick up some mushrooms along the way as well. Because then I should be able to improve that one. I'm going to still have to keep looking around before I decide where to, to go. Oh, one short. Uh, what about that one? Because I'm just looking at the type of bark. I was thinking that was the kind of the decider. Yeah. It's that kind of. It seems to me the trees have got that type of bark seem to be the ones I'm after. Difficult to tell. Because they've all got like different leaves. So I was hedging it off that. Anyway, I think I've got enough bits and pieces now. So we should have made some of that Or not. Oh, it's going to take a few more minutes, right? Okay. So how many more mushrooms do I need? Three more mushrooms. There's quite a few around here anyway. Should be easy enough to get. So we'll grab those. Now that 
Oh yeah, at the moment I think I've got. Let's see, I've got. I've got five minutes in the shroud. So I think that'll push me out to six. I mean, to be fair, it actually tells you. I'll have them, thank you very much. Actually, can I just pick that one up? <laughs> yeah, just saves wasting an arrow. Right, so we need uh, need one more one more mushroom. Oh, there's one over there. That's what you can do with this in this game is like NPCs that actually do work. It's like you could like give them little instructions like so you have somebody goes out and chops the trees and somebody goes out and mines the wood. That'd be extremely useful. Even if it's not these ones, it'd be extremely useful. Have you finished doing something? Nope. Still got a minute to go. Right, why am I seeing you? I've no idea. Yep. Yeah. So I've got to strengthen the flame. So that pushes me out to six minutes, so it buys me an extra one minute in the shroud. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, I think... The more I think about it, I'm wondering if the the altar level is specific to the actual altar itself, whereas the flame strength, once I build, say, like another base, if I pull this one down, I'll still have the same flame strength anyway. Right, so, ooh, ooh, that needs a scavenger matron head. Oh, that sucks. I thought it needed... Well, that sucks. I thought it wanted one of these. Oh, boo hoo. Disappointed. Uh, find the two ancient obelisks to learn the world's fate, a story of rot and fire. Okay. Well, let's go and put some bits and pieces away because I've got too many bits and pieces. in there that can be because I don't particularly think I need it I don't need that in there oh hold on let's put that in there right have you made this stuff yet Yes, you have. So if I put that... Nope. So we've learned it, but I haven't got a recipe for it yet. Budgesicles. So, one thing is the ancient spires. Another is... Flame altar. Basically, it's just saying... Expand your home by upgrading the flame altar. Okay. Story of rot. Searching for hidden tombs. Gets those... It's like, ooh. So I've got three skill points, but I want to wait until I get that, because I really could do that double jump. It is very useful. I'm just saying. Right, so, what have we got then? So we've got, there's that down there, which is the ancient spice. That's just across the bridge. Hmm. Find sparks. Okay, so that seems pretty straightforward. Because that's just past um, where we've been before. So that is an ancient obelisk we've been to. So there's that there. There's that there. And there's a story of rot over there. Ah, ah ha ha. I think we've already been there. Or not. 
says it needs to be in an obelisk. Ah, what the heck. Right, let's head to... We'll head to wherever that is. 780. Well, I haven't said that. I mean, there is the ancient spire we could do. Because that's that big place just above the bri uh, beyond the bridge. So, oh well, yeah, we could do that, I suppose. I'm just curious to see what this is. I think it's a... I think it'll open up a, a, a spark. So I think it's a flame altar. Or a flame sanctum, or whatever they call it. Right, let's head back up here. Grapple up there. And jump. <laughs> Didn't tame that very well. Let's try again. Ooh. Almost. I'm running out of stamina now. Have you got enough stamina to get up? Oh, just oh yes I, oh yeah that's a thought these things respawn because I restarted the game these are respawning ow ow flip it yeah have a mace in the head and you too yeah well it serves you right right let's go and have a look and a uh, harvest Get some of them bits and pieces. We'll blow that up again, because why not? And there's another chest and the executioner's assets, which we didn't keep before, so we're not going to keep again. Let's have a peek up here. Yeah, let's Mash the door down, because that's what we do. Ooh, got ourselves some flint arrows. Right. So I'm curious, because there was a... There was a place before we couldn't go. Because I think it was saying Deadly Shroud. Ooh, I just realised... Ooh. Is that because of... Yeah, plus one to health regeneration. Well, that's dead useful, that. So health is regenerating. Oh, health is regenerating anyway. Automatically because of the, uh, the gear that we're wearing. So that's dead useful. Oh, go on then. Ow, ow, ow. See, there you go. That, that's what you get. That's what you get for being a nuisance. Don't you think about it. Seriously, don't even try. Not in the moon. <laughs> now, um, I wonder if it's up there. I don't remember going up there. Oh. I wonder. Yeah, I don't remember coming up here. Probably because it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. So that's not looking like Deadly Shroud anymore. It's just like, like looks like Shroud Shroud. But that's not where we need to be. Not a curiosity, where does it go? Ooh, there's a shroud root. Ooh, that'll get me an extra skill point. Ooh, nice. Awesome. I assume there's nothing here to protect it, that is. Chop, chop, chop. And we'll just chop. In fact, we'll keep chopping. There you go. Consider yourself chopped. 
So that gets me my... So now I can double jump. Ah, cool. So I think what I'll do is I'll start putting the points in that direction to start with. Because that's what I want to do. I'll put that... Yeah, you know, I might put some into Warrior and some into, into Ranger. A bit of a mixture. See there how you can do that now? That's quite cool, that. Sometimes it can make a bit of a difference than when you try and like jump a long distance. So this presumably is leading to a flame sanctum or some such thing that's got some sparks in it. Just follow the road over along. There you go. Yes, yeah, it just takes us to a sanctum. At least I'll be able to get the sparks out of it. Yeah, so that's a. Uh, I like how it shows you when the route's completed. So they respawn, but it's got a tick next to it. So I think that's like a one-off. Once you've um, taken down a shroud route, that's the last time. That's the well, the, the first and only time you'll get a skill point for it. You can still take them down and clear out the shroud area, but you just don't get the reward for it. Uh, some wax. What's in this one? Some salt, some water. Oh dear. That's a shame. So they didn't last. Is that Salimon Daffodil? Well, that's what he called her anyway. Yes, yeah, so we shall we shall take the sh the flame since it's no longer serving them. We can put it to better use. Anything? Something? Mine? Assuming you get hit. Okay, well that's that done. So I know about that. So that's a an interesting sort of building. I think there was another one down there, but uh, let's just head back. So now that I can double jump, I feel a bit more confident, shall we say, going over that shrine or altar. some pieces in here. Yeah. Put the sparky spark in there as well. That's why not. Right. See you later, alligator. We're gonna head over to there, the ancient spire. So it's one of the ancient spires. Actually, what other quests have we got? Uh... Oh yeah, that one's a bit upgraded, but I'm not really planning on staying where we are. Quite keen on finding another area, should we say, just to save me a bit of time. What do you think you are doing, you silly wolf? Oh, I don't know. Well, the plus side, I get to keep its furs and its... Uh, oh, ow. Then we keep the, yeah, the bones as well. So I can't really complain. Right, we shall hit over the bridge, then we'll go up to the spire. Right, so we'll do our gymnastics as we try and cross the beam. Oh, that doodle of spawn only. Run, jump. Double jump. It's quite cool. Ow. Ow. Although I think ow probably has more relevance for you since you got 
Uh, you got beat up with this thing. Gotta be painful, I must admit. So we've already been that away. Can we get up to that that way? Because yeah, we went that way to get the blacksmith in the first place. I think we need to go that away. Oh, bunch of goals. They'll have respawned as well. Oh, they're butterflies. I thought they were those pesky bats. Ooh. Ooh. Got ya. Yeah, have an arrow. Oh! Get it over with. Try again. Come on. There you go. See, that wasn't too difficult now, was it? Uh, anything of use in here? A shepherd's lightning. Ah, I think we'll be salvaging that. Oh, hang on. Tainted axe. It's a mighty one-handed axe, tainted by the blood of the fallen. Ooh. So it's level 3, it does 14. But if you put in all those extra boosts, I mean, it's cutting... Ooh. So it specifically does say it's one-handed. So at the moment it's not as good, but it'll be better. Ooh, didn't notice that. Where's that shepherd's lightning? There it is. I don't need that. Um, anything? What if we go up the stairs? Is there anything of interest up the stairs? Let's have a look. What have you got? Nothing. Yeah, that's right. He's got a mysterious flask. Which is... Oh yes, it does 30% damage multiplier. Mm. I wonder if we can get there before the sun goes down. It's probably about time, but never mind. Uh, you've got to admire the scenery. I mean, it's, it's interesting, like, over there, it's like you've got, like, desert area. Right over there, we can see, like, the... Like snow capped mountains and what have you. Interesting. We're being told to come in this direction, so I mean, as tempting as it is to go over there, I'm going to stick to the plot. <laughs> um, thank you. Oh dear. Um, that didn't end well. Right, let's see if there's anybody here to give me any hassle. Because I'm just not in the mood for any hassle. I don't need any hassle at all. So I better not be thinking I'm going to give him some hassle because I just don't need any. Is there anything in here or anyone? Don't like that music. That music has strange ramifications. It's filling me with bad vibes. Speaking of bad vibes, uh, how's about well that for 20 minutes? Because okay. one boosts your strength for 10 minutes. You should remember that. That would have been extremely useful when I was trying to face that big beastie in the against the shroud. Mm. I like how, how like we're running up the stairs like that. I we're bouncing up and down. Right, 
Anybody in here? Right, so that food boost was complete waste. Because there's nobody here. Seriously? <laughs> I can't believe I keep missing. Right, so water and a health potion. That's one thing I like about these big urns. Is we can get some interesting bits and pieces out of it. Oops. Especially the health portions, they're extremely useful. I mean, it's a waste of a good, good weapon, I must admit, but I can go back and repair it anyway. Well, I'll tell you what, I think the more important thing is to sort this place out first. That's the present priority. Getting all those other bits and pieces is just a convenience. Right, so there's all those things to smash up, so that's handy. Right, so there's a door. So some doors are locked, but you can open open, so you need a button. So that door's got one lock required. So if we press that button, opens that door. So that was the only thing we had to do to get into the lab. Oh no, I thought I saw something exciting there. Ooh, there's a chest. Hunter's boat. I think I've already got one of them, haven't we? Oh no, it's level five. Oh, that mine's level five. Duh. Right. In which case, I don't need that. There's no point keeping it because I've already got one. Hang on a minute. Do we need to go up there? Because we just came from here. Am I missing the plot here? Yeah, I think I'm missing... There's something I'm missing here. As in, a set of stairs. Uh. <laughs> Doo -hoo. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's why a double jump comes in handy. I knew I needed it for something. Yeah, another day. Right, so that is going to get us over and up another level. Whereas down there, there might be something else. But first things first, let's sort this place out. I can get down there anyway. Interesting. So if you'd missed it, you could have just gone down the stairs. So there's all these things we can smash up. Oh, there's also a chest. Now, healing channels. I'm not doing any magic stuff. Can I. Well, I mean, I can always keep them on. You know, you never know. I might change my mind. I, I'm not planning to. I mean, that, that is not my plan. The plans do change when things don't work out the way you anticipate. Right, upstairs. So we need to be... Looks like it's something up there. There's something down there. Right, get in there needs... Ah, right, so we need to be in there. There's a door lock there. Okay. We had... Ooh. Where does this go? 
Ooh. That was too close. So that's where we came from. So there's another thing up there. Okay. Where does this go? Aha! Interesting. So I suspect there's something up there then. Because that's one place where we haven't been. Try that again, except we'll go up instead of. Yeah, let's try going up. Yeah, there's a button there. Some buttons, so you need to shoot them with an arrow. Okay. Right, so that opens there. Oh, that gets us a chest. Oh, a metal star mace. Oh, okay, so what is this one? So that's a level four. Three versus our sword, which is. I mean. That'll do better, I suppose, because it's got an enhancement. I mean, we'll see. We shall see. Hmm, looks like it's gone dark. Right, so if we. Um... Ooh. I think I'm sure there was a was not a stairway or something. Yeah, so all that does is just opens the gate. So it gives you access to the chest, but it also then opens the doorway. Right, okay, so let's go back up then. We shall go up another level. Oh Spikes. So there's a room there. Right, that one's gonna go up. That one's gonna go up. Ooh. That one's going up. That one's going up. Can we go in there? Yep, yeah, we can open that door. Can we open that door? So it's either either or or maybe both. So there's a chest behind two two buttons. Hmm. Oh. And if you're not interested in the chest, we could just go that way. Tell you what, um, what if we go this way? Right, so there's one of them. Is there anything over there? Oh, yes, yeah, chest there. It gets the health portion. So two buttons. All right, okay. Uh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Right. So, ah, there's the other button up there. So we could go upstairs, but let's see if we can find this. Ooh. Ooh. Stamina's hold now. Right, so that gets that door there. And that gets us to the chest. Okay. Ooh, an alchemist. Ooh, plus six to mana. Eight, which is noise to me. Eight to stamina and... Uh, health as well as useful. So now I've got two rings. So I've got one that gives me eight of stamina and ten of health. Another one eight. Yeah, the 
the mana is not really that much use to me, to be honest. Because I'm not really planning on doing any magic stuff. Because that's for the, uh, for the ones. Right, where's this get? Going up another level. Oh, there we go. So I've finished that one. Let's go and have a chat with the flame. We shall con commune with the flame. I haven't a clue what that was trying to tell me, but I'm sure it was important. Right, so if we get a handy dandy miss, even though it's pitch black. This is a reminder. Clothes to wash. This is a reminder. Clothes to wash. Right, I think what we're going to do, because that's our fast travel point, which is good. Which means that comes straight back. So I'm going to go back here. To our home. Because then, I can get some sleep, because it's we're gonna empty our pockets out as well and come back here and do some mindless vandalism and fill those pots and see what else we can find. Ooh. So now we've got to go and search for a hunter. Right, so. Hang on, hang on. Right, let's put these bits and pieces away. Fix our bits and pieces. Right. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need the runes. Wherever they are. I've got plenty of them now. Right, so you can do that one. Anything else? Um, no no. So that I'm gonna come comparison between that one and that one. I mean, that's a blunt damage one. At least it's one-handed, though. So that does about the same... Hmm. Interesting. I think I'll scrap that one. But I'm going to be using that one anyway. I mean, if I do... Yeah. I've got an axe. Oh, sorry, sorry, nearly, nearly took you out there. <laughs> um, oopsie, that would have been embarrassing. So I don't think I want to particularly keep... I mean, that one does cutting, it doesn't do any piercing, whereas that does. It also does poison, I must admit. I assume it's because it's rusty. Put it down there for now. Right, where did I put all of the honey? Because the honey keeps ending up down there. I think I'll put that on that bar there. Let's grab some some sleep. Uh, hunter becomes the hunted. That might be tempting, I must admit. Oh yes, the cock cockerel did a cock a doodle doo. So the hunter's over there. And there's other things, I mean, there's a, another elixir well over there. There's a... Oh, there's a, a, there's a farmer over there. So we've learned of two. And the carpenter's down there, so we know of three more. So there's... Yeah, we've learned of three more people. So if we that's because we've gone to here. Let's head over there. Did you break something? Um that that's actually what I'm going to do. See if there's anything useful. I mean we've already raided the place, we've already gone through the uh, chests. Oh, good good good. 
So that buys us more time. Two minutes, an extra two minutes in the in the shroud. Let's see what else we can find. Nope, not there. Ah, some over here. So that's that's where we're from. We're we're right all right over in that little corner. As you can see where there's like where we're pointing to is um there's that there, that's long keep. And then there's Cinder Vault right there, right at the top. I mean we've just got like a little itty bitty house, we can't really see it. But it stands out if you if you use like the brick roofing for instance, it really stands out. Smash! Break everything! Maybe I should just be a barbarian. That's what barbarians do. Well I've unlocked a recipe. So we've got bone meal. So the blacksmith can now do no because it needed bone meal so because we've found a found bone meal we can now unlock this spectral shield which oh, has poison resistance interesting but uh, let's have a look where are we at so I want to basically go to the bottom of the place and then come all the way, work my way back up again. Hmm. I was getting excited. I was thinking, I wonder if there's anything on these. It might be on top of that one. Yeah, there's nothing on this one. Ooh, we just made it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a bit of a look around here because there was this place is uh, there was one level where there was a lot of these um, big urns. Oops. So that would be tempting to, to see what we can get out of those ones. So places like this one. Yeah. Smash. I feel like a Hulk. Just smash everything. Yeah, so get something. Get, you know what I mean? You get good stuff out of this place. Let's go have a bit of a walk around. Nope. What about round here? Did we leave anything around here? I've already been here, so that's that's empty. At least for now anyway. Where did I Oh it's up the stairs up there, aren't they? That's why. Oh it's the spikes, I'm thinking, what the heck's that? It sounded like a tiger. I'm thinking, what? It sounds <laughs> I thought it was like a tiger growling. I'm thinking, what? Since when did they introduce tigers? Ooh. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> That's a bit hair raising. Uh, smash! What's around the corner? Right, some more around here. And there's some downstairs. It's a total waste of a good weapon, mind. Oh! I <laughs> know! I didn't want to do that! It's a feature. I'm convinced, yep, it's a feature. Uh, what about this one? Ooh, got some more wax. Nothing. 
Nothing. Where do we go around here? It's in here. Ooh, salt. Wax. There's got to be something useful downstairs. Because there's all of these here. Smash, smash. Yeah, it seems to be, seems to be a quite good way to get it. Get like wax in the early days, because I mean you can like farm wax from those uh, beehives. So they'll keep them spawning anyway. But this is a quick way to get wax, which is useful for like you know doing candles and whatever. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't the plan. Smash, 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 smash. Anything, something, nothing. Um, just water. Bone meal. Bandages. Water. Health portions. Can we go underneath there? No, we can't. Oh. Sucks. I was getting really excited there. I thought, oh wow. So we want to go. Oh, hang on. Oh, look at that. You see, I could have missed out on a bandage if I hadn't done that. Smash, smash. Smash and rip. Rick and smash. This is very satisfying, I've got to say. Just go around and completely trash in that place. Ooh, more wax. One meal again. drawback of this I suppose is that I'm going to have to now make a lot more storage yeah right just keep smashing and trashing the place and I think this is pretty much yeah kind of like the common stuff you're going to get Right, I've almost wrecked my uh, axe in the process. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Perfectly good weapon just trashed. Mm. It figures. Oh, we have got some metal sheets that time. Right, if we go up the stairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm enjoying this. Right. Let's we'll switch to the maze then. Oh, that's going much better. Oh, that is going much better. I think he's enjoying it as well. I think he is. Oh, there's... Oh, right, there's that up there. So if we head over to... Well, we've got the stamina for this. I hope so. Do. Both that one and go. More bone meal. Water. Oh, more water. Certainly can't complain of a lack of water, that's for certain. Uh, mana portions, I'm not 
Nothing I'm excited about. Right, which, um, I can't remember which direction we're supposed to be going in, actually. We're going to go that way. I think we do. Okay, that's not the direction we want to be going in. Where else do we go? Uh... <laughs> Holy smokes. So we want to be going this direction. I'm going up here then. Nothing. All I have to nothing. See, at least I got some wax. Ooh. Ooh, they're all in unison now. Right, one of these is... Yeah, that one, that's the, the way out. Is there any... Any barrels I have left? Ow! Ow, 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 ow! No, there's not. Okay, right. I think I've got them. I might have missed some, but... One there. Ooh, another portion. Another portion to protect us from the shroud. Well, it actually gives you more time in the shroud. It protects you from shroud damage. Right. And I think I think that's pretty much it. And as far as I'm, as far as I recall, I think they all do respawn. Anyway, we shall go back home. So the choices are, well, there's quite a few to pick from here. I won't fix everything. I like this, you can, you can just go here and fix everything and it doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to spend any materials to... Um, Fix things. I'm gonna to have to get more storage, aren't I? Ah, oh. fudge sickles. Let's put that in there. Uh, I can keep them in the in there for now. So we can also do ah. Oh. Why don't we get out of we say tar? Split that. So turn that into tar. So what is it? Wooden. Uh, hello? Wood logs. Oh, it needs 30. Oh. Draw like a governor. Right, uh, grab some of them. And put them in there. So that's enough to get a bit of tar. So I just want to see what are the recipes I learned by learning tar. There's plenty of goats around here, I'll say that. Although they tend to just jump off the edge. You don't catch them quickly, huh? Hold on, hold on. 
Yeah, we got that one. So, like, that's that could be an interesting place. Yeah, there's a... Because that's got multiple buildings here. You could put, like, different people in different buildings. So that might be tempting. So that is east of where we are at. So somewhere... That could be there for all I don't know where the carpenter is. Well, I suspect it's a bit further on. And there's another... There's another spire over there. So yeah, that could be tempting. Oh, hello. Ooh, Balthazar was here. Oh, no. Hello, them, you won't be needing those. Yeah, I should have just left a... That little rare scribble there saying Balthazar was here. But I'm wondering, I mean, there's, there's a choice you see. I mean, there's the hunter we can, we've been told about the hunter and that's become a quest. I mean, that is, she's over there, which isn't. Yes, yeah, so she's, she's not too far. We'll go that way to find her. Apparently there's a carpenter, because we've been there, we've also landed the carpenter down here. But there's also the farmer is up here. I mean, whether we can get to these or not, it's going to be difficult to say until you get closer, because there's a... You, until you travel around, you've got like a fog of war, if you will. Um, but there's certain places that are actually locked off that you can't get to. Until you strengthen the flame more. Where are we? There's a flame shrine down there. In that vicinity. I suppose I can try and dig my way through. Oh, we can try jumping. That's another. That's another strategy. Interesting. So there's a sh there's a flame shrine down there. But that that building area is coming up into clearer view now. Quite like that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. come on, doggy dog. And you, your turn. See, it serves you right. Yeah, that is looking tempting, I must admit. I mean, it's kind of like surrounded by a shroud, though. Oh, bumbles, fuzzies, and fuzzies. Oh, no, no, no. Fuzzy things. For you, that was that was that was a close call. Um, yeah, that could be interesting because it's a relatively large area, so that might be tempting. Right, where's this here flame shrine? Thingamajiggery, what you would call it. Oh, there it is. Oh, grab the spark out of that one. Because we're in need of sparks. You know, we can we can put it to more use. It's going to waste over here. So that's round about the edge then. So there's a cinder vault. There's a hole. 
So I think that, I mean, the hunter is a bit closer, so it's a bit, it is tempting to go and find her rather than anybody else. Uh, what about the tar? Ooh, tar. So we've learned by getting that tar. Uh, let's go back up there. So, tar. so we can make tar wood blocks and we can make tar shingle roofs. So, so far we can do tar, stone, or plant fibre. I don't think I don't think Oswald's got anything specific I need. I mean we've already got the best shield of him. Uh, I'm finding better weapons in the field. And all the forge is doing is, is just making the bits and pieces that he needs. I don't know why they're Known as if it's a task because I've already got, I've already made wood acid and charcoal and tar. Hmm. Oh, an alchemist. Oh, oh well in that case, so, oh wow, a spoil for choice here. So there's an alchemist. Frankly, we were actually quite close there at one point as well. So since we've already been in that direction, it might be more tempting to go and find the alchemist up there. The only trouble is finding somewhere to keep everybody, because, I mean, we've got this little base here. It was only intended to be temporary. So I'm wondering... Um, beginning to wonder if maybe there if we can find a way over to there because it's got multiple buildings so then you can set it up so that you know buildings for each of the actual um, survivors and a building for you maybe and I don't know we'll have to have a look So yes, we've learned now. That's interesting, that. So we've learned about... So there's one... Two... Three... So we know where all four of the other four survivors are, then. Interesting. But I think... I think I'll go for the Alchemist first. That's tempting. Since we've already been over to that area anyway. I mean, it was, it was just literally right... We were right at the edge. We got as far as clearing this sort of area. So it might be easier going for, for the alchemist then. So what do we need to strengthen the flame? Wax, salt, spark. You need five sparks. Shrouded. So it's that scavenger matron head, but that'll give you the ability to do six six altars. Uh, an extra bonus to your attributes. Shroud passage goes up to level three and you then get seven. So you'd have to find a, a scavenger matron to pull that off. Yeah, skill wise, yeah, I need to keep leveling them. I mean, it's a good... We're, we're only level 3. So we, we've got like... A, I mean, I'm, I I think that was probably the better strategy I'd do, because I do like that double jump. It comes in handy. Very, very useful. But I think I'll start heading in this direction. Oh. I mean, what we're we doing mostly now... No, switch to that. I mean, that is... Pudding. So that one is melee cutting, so we probably go down that path. Because I would have done the same if I'd had a sword, or whether it was a sword or an axe, that makes sense. Then you start thinking about the other ones. But there is still a ranger, I'm, I'm tempted to do thing, things from the ranger, I, I seriously like that. That's a good 
good boost to your stats by the looks of it. I mean, those, just even going as far as these would be good. It's not that expensive. One for that, two for those. Then you're into the more specific stuff. It doesn't look as though there's much in the Rangers side. Whereas you look at this one, there's, there's a lot in this one. I would have thought in comparison. I mean, some of these cost three. That costs four to become a veteran. But I might branch off into the barbarian stuff. So maybe it's a split between these two. Well, I haven't said that was the tank, wasn't it? Because the tank, the tank gets better armor protection going all the way up to right up to there. Yeah, going up to there and get you better um, better armor. And that merciless attack. Mm. Power parries. I mean, these are useful, especially that one. Because your tools wear down less. Yeah, that's, that's quite a bit to think. Because this, this, I think we're going to be a, a mixture of um, mostly melee, but I want to be able to take advantage of the of the ranger side to be able to do damage from afar. Does that make well? That just makes your life easier, quite frankly. But yeah, I think I think we'll be probably be going in search of our alchemist after this then. But of course, it's all for another episode. Where are you going? No, not into the shroud! No way! You're not ready for this boss! He'll squash you! But what's going on here? There's more of you now? Oh, so you're teaming up. Uh -huh. I see. You're all against me. Fine. Play however you want. It's your game. 